everyone and welcome to Life Cues Week 18. Um, I just had kind of a really busy weekend. I'm sure you all have too. So as I was lying in bed this morning, I was thinking, oh, there's so much spring cleaning to be done. And I start getting all these ideas in my head and it gets overwhelming. And with chronic pain, I have to pace myself. So I'm somebody who has a tendency to just want to just fire and get all the cleaning done and do it all. And then I suffer for it in the end. So this year, I'm not going to do that. I thought I'm just going to start slow, take baby steps, made myself a nice steaming cup of hot coffee. And I'm just going to finish up my yummy oatmeal and cranberries. And then I'm going to do my um, art journaling and I'd like to know what's on your list for today or the rest of this week. So as my grandmother used to say, what's on the rail for the lizard today? So I'm going to, I think by journaling this page, it's going to help me sort and pace and be able to do things one step at a time. So let's get started. <music> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
here's my page. I decided to start it off with a background of gingham in the back because I always uh, think gingham reminds me of housework and aprons and I don't know. So that's why I put that back there. And then I inked it with walnut stain. I used um, kind of a mask ink in the background of the Stampin' Up! clock. So first I pressed in the ink and then stamped it on, then took another stamp off so it was, had a sort of a faded look to it. So there's a clock in the background. And this one here just signifying that it's time to get at her. I had this really, really, really cute, these little um, cutout dolls. I have had them forever. And what's neat is they have these extra arms. I'm sure you're supposed to use a brad so it's a movable arm. But what I did is I trimmed away the arm that was down and then I reattached the arm so it was up. So it's kind of like holding my to-do list. And then she represents me, of course. And I made a little dress out of um, some scrap paper and put an apron on her. Then I made my to-do list and I just took some lined paper, punched holes in it, and then ripped the holes away to distress it and then put some more of that walnut stain around there. And I made the list of the things that I need to get at. Um, these arrows, these rub-on arrows, um, I put those on there because sometimes I don't know if I'm up or down and it really helps me to make a list. So I started my list on some of the things that starting with what I have to do today and some of the different projects I need to get finished. I used this uh, little mini wooden spoon. I saw these at the dollar store and I thought they were so cute. And again, you never know what you're going to use them for. But I thought it was a great little um, hanger for my list. And uh, because a lot of the stuff, uh, one thing that I really want to do is uh, remember to finish making my meals ahead for my GI diet plan because if I cook my meals ahead, I'm finding I'm really staying on track and I've lost 25 pounds so far, so that's awesome. I read this amazing quote in the magazine, Cloth, Paper and Scissors, and it says, I wear my cape around my waist, often invisible. So we all know that whoever's the homemaker is the superhero around the house. And um, so I'm going to get after my chores, starting with the first thing on my list. Oh, and I added a little flower in her hair from the printed paper. So there's my page, and I'd really like to see how you're going to tackle your to-do list. So we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>